Hey everyone, so I'm going to give you a walkthrough on the form builder. So how to how we can access the form builder is going into this app menu right here and going into system administration and you would see form builder where if you click it, it would open up in a new tab. So let's go ahead and create a new form. Uh, you click on this create a new form here and uh, you can either select input a dummy schema where you can see it fills out like an example form with some handy form questions sections and pages or you can go ahead and just use the interactive builder to start building so i just use that and let's create out a covid19 uh, test request form and you can add in a short description form to be filled and i'll just add a page to submit in basic information and add a section clinical information and under this section i'll just start go ahead and add a question and let's say date of test and i can mark this question as optional or required and i choose a question type i choose of type encounter date time and rendering type date and i can either pick a calendar time or calendar only time only i'd go for calendar only and you can see that whenever we do changes uh, the json schema gets automatically updated over here and if you go into the previous section you can see how the form would look like on the user's end uh, as you build uh, as you go on building it so uh, you'd see that we have support for a large number of uh, question types we have encounter date time encounter location encounter provider and so on and so forth so let's say for example you want to log in the facility or the clinic so i use you can use the question encounter location and choose the rendering type ui selected extended and this would show up as a drop down where you can select in the facility or the site and uh, we have similar drop uh, similar options like that for encounter provider that you want to log in the user that entered this information and there are also options called ops where let's say i want to log in like uh, irrelevant into this specific form but let's say i want to log in the type of anesthesia so i'd say maybe a select or a radio for text and i try to see if i can find a concept for the anesthesia type purple anesthesia and let's see if i can put it into select so i select the back in concept anesthesia type and then you can select which of the concepts you want to show i just select a few of these and i'd select the rendering type multi checkbox so when i go into preview i can see that i get a drop down where i can select multiple options from and the json schema for all these questions they just get filled out onto the schema editor as we build on the interactive builder so this is a small basic uh, introduction to uh, the interactive builder and to save this form you can go ahead and just save this form i'd say go with the uh, test request uh, the fields are already filled from when we were creating the form i i choose an encounter type admission and just save it and the form would get saved and this would show up on the clinical form sections on patient chart when we click on publish form so yeah, that's a tiny introduction to how to create a form using the form builder.